We're talking outlooks right now with Mickey Falp of the Mercenary Geologist. He's a speaker here at the San Francisco Hard Assets Show. Mickey, thank you so much for being with uh, me. Thanks for uh, having me once again, Daniel. Absolutely, Mickey. So uh, let's talk gold for a second here and what, uh, what you're expecting uh, within the next six months. Uh, well, I don't know what's going to happen in the next six months, but I'm pretty sure that the price of gold at the beginning of 2013 will be lower than the price of gold at the end of 2013. And that's about all I'm willing okay, to say. Okay. But that, that's happened for the last 12 years. Okay, so, well, we, gee, gee, Mickey, I thought you had the gift of fortune telling. No, okay. no, I, I don't have a crystal ball. There is one analyst who's uh, pretty right, infamous right, for right. walking on stage with right. a crystal ball. But uh, I'm a little bit more scientifically based. Than oh, that. All right. Well, let's get your general sentiment of, of the metal markets right now. Okay. Then, Mickey. Yeah, and it has to do. I would probably expand that. I think the metal markets are in a holding period right now. Okay. Uh, the the economy is not good. It's not bad. It's kind of in the blahs. So I expect metals to to hold within the fact uh, that, especially industrial metals. But we would expect gold and silver on the, in the in the longer term or the mid term, let's say in the next year, to go up because of fiat okay. currencies. Okay. More concern with would be what's going to happen in the, with some of these junior resource stocks. And what we've seen uh, post-Obama election is a massive exit to exit from uh, investors and speculators, basically partly due to the fact that uh, we have these pending tax increases in the United States. So, so we combine that with a uh, tax loss season, lots of losses taking taken over the last year and people trying to balance mm -hmm. their portfolios. Mm -hmm. So I expect, uh, especially the junior resource sector, to continue on the downtick okay. uh, for um, the most of the remainder of this year. Yeah, let's just pause on that a second because that's the sentiment I've been hearing from Brent Cook and other guys oh, yeah, here yeah. that uh, it's going to be another bearish year for the mining stocks 2013, especially for the junior sector, uh, Mickey. Well, I'm going to look much shorter term than that. I don't, I, you know, what I'm trying to do is manage a portfolio for tax loss season, I've made the decision this year to end up with zero capital gains, both short term and long term in the United States. So I'm selling uh, dog stocks. We all have dog stocks in, 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 our, in our portfolios, dead wood, whatever you want to uh, I'm going to call some of those. And what okay. I think we're going to see is a downtick in the market until this tax loss season okay. uh, is almost over. For Canadians, a week before uh, before the end of the year. For Americans, it's exactly on last trading day. But generally what we see is a low around the second to third week in December. And then the market will muddle along a little bit. And then what I'm expecting is a rebound right after the first of the year. And I'm using analogies of 2008, 2011, much okay. similar years in junior resource sector. Okay. So somewhere about December 15th, third week of December, start buying some of your favorite stocks that are beaten down. And then uh, after the first of the year, some of your, your good profits, perhaps longer term holds, you want to take profits as this uptick happens okay. at the first of the year. That's my strategy. Some good thoughts. And just finally, Mickey, so heading into 2013, what metals are you liking right now in your portfolio? Uh, I always like copper. Uh, gold is always going to be a good enough in, uh, in, in your portfolio. Uranium is the most beaten up commodity on the planet right now. I'm picking away at uranium okay. stocks because as a contrarian, I like to buy when things okay. are down. Okay. Good thoughts today. Thanks to you. Thank you so much, Mickey. Oh, thanks a lot, Daniela. And thanks for watching our coverage from the San Francisco Hard Assets Show. We'll have more for you on Kiko.com. In the meantime, you can email me any comments or questions at newsfeedback at Kiko.com or tweet me at Daniela Camboni. Thank you for watching.